how about some stylized trees and it's all done in blender, hello guys and welcome back, this time, I will show you an easy way to create cool and colorful trees in blender, and it's much suited for beginners since no skills is needed here, so without any further ado, let us see how we can do this, starting with any tree trunk, I got this one we see available down below in the description if you want to follow along, or make your own using any free add-on like the tree spline, which is already in blender. The method for today is based on drawing leaves, and for that, we need to convert this mesh into a grease pencil, so select the tree trunk, go to object menu, and hit convert to grease pencil. Now we got this shape, by controlling the thickness we can reduce those stroke lines to minimum, so I will put it on one, and leave the other two values on defaults. On materials, we have both the stroke and fill, however we don't need the stroke for this method, to delete it, go to the grease pencil menu and delete the tree lines layer. Let's head now to the drawing part, from the top left corner switch, the mode from object to draw mode, after that, in the setting menu on the right, we have the brush setting, at first if you open it, it's a bit empty with couple of pencil options, however by hitting the arrow icon near it, and choose the download and import texture brush pack, we can get more. This import option is off by default meaning you won't find the download button until you enabled the grease pencil tools add-on, this one is already inside blender so you just need to check it and turn it on. Once we imported the pack, couple of extra brushes are available, among them are brushes for grass and leaves. So let's select one of the leaves, the reddish one. And from the top bar, we can control the brush size and strength. Switch the stroke placement from origin to stroke. Now with your left mouse button, click and drag over any branch of this tree to draw stylized leaves on it, from one point to another, and don't mind any mistakes, we can fix it later, so put some music on, and let's see this through. Now that we are done drawing, we end up with this shape, which is cool, so let's see the extra fix you can do once the drawing is done. You can before anything use the erase tool to delete the extra leaves on the tree. Next, you can switch to sculpt mode, first with the smoothness brush, select it, you can hit F to increase the brush size, and just move it around the edge while pressing the left mouse button. Next is the thickness brush, and with this we can fill any empty parts or control the tree shape from top to bottom. Last thing on sculpting is the randomization, 
same as before, increase the brush size to fit, and just randomize the leaves around the edges. For the trunk color, we can head back to the materials, and in the fill, change the color to any of the leaves different shades, after that you can make it on a darker one or keep it light with the leaves, all up to you. Now before we wrap this video, there's two things that need to be addressed, first is the lighting on those trees, it only get affected by lamps, so natural light like HDRI don't matter much with it, and you can see that here, if we add a sun and an HDRI sky, and we turn off the sun lamp, the light on the tree will go off. The other thing is the reflections and shadows, since this is a pencil drawing, if we place it on a reflection surface, it won't show any mirror image or shadows. And that's it. This will have its use in arch visualizations and in 2D pencil drawing, all up to you, and if you want more ways to get your hand on stylized and amazing looking trees in Blender, you need to watch this video right here, and see you guys next time, stay sharp, goodbye.